So the next topic I'll be covering um, is an extension of the uh, previous topic. However, it does involve uh, date columns that have been imported as a string. And so this tends to happen if you are uploading data sources from um, a local file like an Excel or a CSV file, or even a cloud application such as Dropbox, Google Drive, um, OneDrive, or even Google Sheets. Uh, you may notice that you know before you import the data, the sales date column is being read as a text or a string, as seen by the A icon beside the column name. Um, even though my values represent dates, uh, it's not truly formatted to be interpreted as a date column. And so because of that, I would lose the chronological properties of my values. And so when I visualize this on a dashboard directly, I would not be able to visualize uh, my data over time, whether it's you know grouped by year or year month, you know so on and so forth. And so to solve this, we do need to create a view similar to the last step, um, where we could apply a formula, whether through it, whether it's from a calculated column or an update transformation, uh, either works. Uh, but we do need to supply the correct formula. So in my case, I use the date from parts function to achieve this. And so to talk about the date from parts function, it does require three parameters, year, month, and day uh, in that exact order. Um, however, my date values are actually ordered by month, day, and year uh, with no dashes or anything in between, and it's just purely numerical. So that within itself is not a true date uh, format. And so what we need to do is with the date from parts function, we need to combine that with the str with string functions. So um, what I use are right, left, and substring to extract these elements. And so the right function in this case will extract a certain number of characters from the right side of my string. And because the year element is on the is at the very end, I want to extract the four characters from the right side of that string, which would yield 2017. Um, and then the opposite of that is the left function, which extracts a certain number of characters from the left side of the string. So since my months are first, I do want to take the two first two characters from that left side to get my month, which would be 12. And then we do have substring for our day parameter. And because the day element is in the middle of my string, we need to specify where we want to start um, parsing by and how many characters to parse by. So because the date element starts on the third character of my date value, uh, we set the second parameter as three, which is the start location. And then the last parameter to how many characters we want to start by, uh, parse by, we enter two to take the two numbers from that third point onwards. And so just using that first row as an example, that would give me 30. But of course, this loops across all um, values in my column and constructs a true date uh, column. And the way you can tell is if, if, for one, the formula does execute. So that's one. If you do get an error, then there was something, there was some issue with parsing your date value. But on top of that, you can also see the calendar icon, uh, which does represent a date column. And so with this column, I can now have access to the chronological properties of my data. Um, so say if I want to visualize something by month or by year, whatever the requirements may be revolving dates, the possibilities are there.